Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at the serverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to install Apache Tomcat 10 on Ubuntu 20. Now, as with all things Ubuntu, you'll probably just want to start off with a quick sudo apt update command. That should only take a second to run and once it's complete, what you'll want to do is you'll want to install the JDK. You do that by saying sudo apt install default jdk. Now that'll take just a minute to install. It's worth mentioning that Tomcat does require a JDK in order to run. It needs a runtime environment. It needs to run on Java. The Java JDK is a prerequisite for installing Apache Tomcat 10. So you've got to install that first. Now, after you've installed it, you can always say Java dash version, ask which version you're using. And as you can see, I've got version 11 here. The latest long-term support release of Java is 17, but 11 will do in a pinch. Actually, most people are still on Java 11. Okay, what is next? Well, the next thing we need to do is actually download a Tomcat. I've actually got the Tomcat downloads link right here, which you can get to from apache.org. And I'm going to download this tarball here, Apache Tomcat 10 tar.gz. That opens up that folder. Let's see if I can find that folder and boom, there it is. Now I want to actually take that file and extract it into the OPT folder and specifically into a subfolder of OPT named Tomcat. Now, as you can see, I don't have that folder in existence right now. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to do a chmod. Don't tell anybody I'm doing 777. And I'm just going to give myself permissions to that OPT folder. And with permissions, I can then create a directory in there called, well, I'm going to call it Tomcat, make directory OPT Tomcat. And you can see that created right there. Now, I guess, should I give myself permissions to that Tomcat folder? Well, maybe we'll do that just a little bit later. For now, what I want to do is I want to extract the contents of that downloaded file into that folder. So I'm going to open up a terminal window in this folder here. And then I'm going to run this tar command. Now I've got this on my clipboard here, sudo tar apache tomcat 1021.tar.gz. Put everything into the opt slash tomcat folder and strip the first folder name. I'm going to click enter here. And once I type in my password for Ubuntu, you'll see why I did that. You notice that the word apache tomcat 10.0.21 precedes the folder names when we copy all of the files into that OPT Tomcat folder. We want to get rid of all of that junk there that it starts with. So it's nice and clean if we go over here. So let me go over to other locations, computer, OPT, and then Tomcat. And you'll see that everything is nice and handsome in here, including, well, there's the bin directory. And this bin directory has got the start up shell file. It's also got the start shut down shell file. So those are pretty important. And you'll also notice that in this Tomcat folder, we've also got web apps. And that's got some of the example applications that prove that things are working. It's also got the host manager over there for managing the environment. So those are all pretty cool. But what I really want to run is this shell command right here, startup.sh. So I'm going to clear this window and then I'm going to do a little sudo slash opt slash tomcat slash bin slash startup.sh and call that startup file. I'll click enter. And I get this little message that says, hey, Tomcat has started. Now, has it really started? How can we prove that? Well, one way to prove that is just to open up a new browser window on localhost 8080. It takes just a second, but all of a sudden it comes back and it says, boom, we've got Apache Tomcat 10 installed on Ubuntu. You can even 
mosey on around here, take a look at some of the example applications. There's the JSP examples. There's the Java servlet examples. You can even execute a little hello world application so we can see that that Java servlet is running in Apache Tomcat 10 on Ubuntu. So that's all working. And so there you go, that is it. That's how easy it is to install Apache Tomcat 10 on Ubuntu. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on Tomcat, Apache, Java, microservices, DevOps, Git, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And well, please, subscribe on the YouTube.